what's up guys this is going to be a quick disassembly reassembly and a short review on the tr imports silver eagle 12 gauge semi-auto shotgun uh, i got this in on black friday in 2014 so i've had it about a year um, and i put about 1500 ish shells through it um, but i'll get to that in a second i'm going to show you now how to disassemble it, reassemble it, what goes where. All right, let's get started. First, I'll show you that this is clear. Nothing in there. Nothing magazine to. Okay. So, let me get started. I'll show you how to take this apart. First, what are you gonna do? I can't stress this enough. Make sure that it's clear right and you're going to want to dry fire it to lock that bolt back okay now next you're going to take this end cap off like that Put that off to the side take this stock just kind of wiggle it out let it slide up put that off to the side what may happen is this cap might come out but that's all right that just slides right in there and sits okay now to take the barrel off you're going to want to hold the bolt about halfway right about there and that way this can slide right off just kind of like guide it forward and just come right out okay take this piece off just make sure you keep it straight up like that hold this back a little bit so that the charging handle isn't resting on the ejection port and then just pull it off it just pops right out now you can slide this whole thing forward like that keeping it upright and bolt takes the bolt right off this piece right here just kind of rocks out and this cat, this little end piece right here, this will unscrew. Like that. So you can take that out, put that down. Right here, your gas block, you can just, this slides right out. It's got a rubber O-ring, sort of in the back there. That just slides off, you put that down. And right here, you can unscrew this choke I've loosened this up already so it's pretty easy uh, you might need your key that the that the chokes came with there's a little box a little carrying box for your chokes you can take that out clean the whole thing one thing about these chokes this is a cylinder choke or a skeet choke and the way you can tell the difference between which chokes are which is the tiny little notches I don't know if you can see that the tiny little notches right on top five notches is um, cylinder or skeet choke uh, one notch would be full and then stepping down from there so you can just put this I've already cleaned this yesterday it's all oiled up Let me put this back on tighten it up with my finger all right Like the spring just slides right off so that's not a problem and you can kind of get in there to get this trigger trigger assembly out there's two screws here and here you just need a flathead and careful um, which flathead you use you don't want to scratch up this receiver um, other than that pretty much it you can get to you can clean it pretty easy the way it is torn apart here on like I have it on the table all right, put it back together and take the spring and put it on. Take the these two pieces, screw this back on here. Okay. This piece kind of just rests like that. You can shake it off, but it'll rest there. Take this bolt, there's this tiny little, this little lip here on a spring, you kind of just rest the bolt on it. If you 
could see that just like that take this slide it over the tube here and then you can let it fall in and hold this like that and you can take your charging handle here and just pop it right back into place and let it rest up against the receiver there okay you can take this little piece here put this back in the gas block like that take this put it back over all right rest the stock up against your leg or your hip and while you're putting the barrel on guide the bolt backwards with the barrel so it slides into place there just like that and you're going to want to hold the bolt in place or the barrel is going to kind of pop pop out like that so then take your fore end slide it over the top like that and then right here you're going to want to make sure that's flush so just let it seat it might be tight if it's brand new the cap Screw that back on. Make sure you're holding the, the bolt so that the barrel stays in place. Screw that in. Like that. Okay. And function check it. Dry fire it. Bolt locks back. And you're good to go. Alright. Now, I've had this gun for about a year. I got this Black Friday 2014. Um, I think I said earlier, I put about 1500 shells through it I haven't really I haven't had any major problems the only problem I've had is a failure to feed and that was with cheap federal Winchester $20 boxes that you get for you get a hundred rounds with at Walmart or Dick's Sporting Goods or Cabela's Best Pro it's just cheap target ammo um, and the only time I've had a problem with it is when I haven't cleaned the gun so it gets all gunked up in here and the gas block and, and all that stuff gets all kind of sticky and just grimy. It doesn't, it doesn't function as well. Um, I'll get a failure to, uh, failure to eject or a fail to feed um, when it's all kind of gummed up like that. The low pressure rounds. Other than that, this gun works really, really well. Uh, I've shot two three quarter inch buckshot uh, high brass shells through it and um, three inch steel shot for duck and uh, waterfowl goose hunting um, one thing that's a little different from this and my Remington 1187 will be the way it loads um, when you're shooting or when you're when you're loading the gun what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put a pop around right in here just like it is sitting with the bolt open or if you're holding the bolt open slap one in there shut the bolt and feed the magazine tube or feed the magazine tube then put one in here because um, if you put them all uh three or four two three four in the in the magazine tube here and you go to psych and you go to chamber around it's not going to chamber because this shell stopper for the tube operates with the trigger and the bolt or, or the bolt release so you can sit there all day and play with the bolt but one's not going to go in unless you physically put it in now while you're shooting it'll feed just fine other than that that's the only difference between this and the remington i have um now all in all it's been a great gun it's pretty lightweight one nice thing about it is this cut out in the stock and this nice thick rubber pad you have here it definitely helps with the recoil this being a semi-auto it helps with the recoil as it is but this definitely helps a lot because you're not you're not going to get that giant shock out of those three inch uh three inch shots if you're not used to shooting a shotgun too much uh all in all great gun 299 dollars the exporting goods black friday was definitely definitely worth the money um now, I'd usually keep this little rubber pad it comes with on there while it's in the safe so that it doesn't scratch up any of my other guns. So, yeah, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I have. It's been, it's been really good. So, that's all I got. 
Um, hopefully I'm going to get some good videos of duck season this year with this gun. I will post some videos up on it. I got a new GoPro, so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to using this and getting some footage with it. If I do, I'll put it up online and uh, you guys enjoy it.